Don't forget to rate and comment. All links and information are provided on the right. Hi, my name is Dan from Epic Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to have these Google applications, so like I have in my Quick Launch Toolbar, Google, Google Apps at your fingertips on your Quick Launch Toolbar. Um, what these do is when I click, say I click Gmail, it opens up Gmail in my browser and allows you to have these Google applications on your fingertips. So if I click the Google one, it opens up Google in my browser. This is very handy to me since I'm a giant, I'm a very big user of uh, Google applications. And if you are too, I suggest you watch this whole video and I will show you how to create these. Um, there's one way you can create these using Google Chrome. Just click uh, create uh, application in Google Chrome. I don't like that method because it opens up in a single window and it doesn't allow you to use tabs. So if you're trying to browse the web while doing email or whatever Google app you're using, or you're trying to paste links from a new tab or anything like that, it's much easier just to have these in a new tab. See what I'm saying? If you open it up, it opens up in a browser, not a single window like Chrome does. It allows you to have do everything you want in one window. So to create these, let's get started. You're going to want to right click your desktop, go to New Folder. Name the folder Google. Inside that folder, you're going to create two new folders. Name one icons and name the other shortcuts. Alright, now you're going to need to drag this folder. Go ahead and open up my computer. Go to your C drive. Go to right click new folder and name it. Uh, whatever you want. I'm going to name it HT for no reason. I'm just naming that. And drag the Google folder into there. And then open up your Google folder. Alright. Inside this folder you're going to go to right click new text document. You can name it whenever you want. I'm going to name it Google. Um, open it up and this is the method we're going to use to create all the Google Apps ones. I'm only going to show you how to create one for Google and all you have to do is at the end just replace it with whatever website you want. Um, all you do is just type start space firefox dot exe space www.google.com go to file save as all files and save that Google file to dot bat dot b a t. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Um, what that does is now I have this Google bat file on my desktop. When you double click it, look what happens. It opens up Google Google in my browser. So go ahead and create a bat file. All you have to do is just replace this URL with Gmail, Google Reader, all that stuff. Just replace that URL with whatever you want and create all the bat files you want and uh, save them to your desktop. When I'm done, I've created all my Google applications. Um, uh, they all, I got one for Google, Google Reader, Gmail, Gcal, and Gdocs. If you double click them, what do you know? It opens up the application that uh, it says it does. Um, once you have all those um, files, highlight them all, go to Start My Computer, go to your C drive, and wherever you created that Google folder on your C drive, um, open up the Google folder, and you should have your two folders in there still, and drag all your bat files into there. Once you've done that, highlight all your bat files, right click them, and click Create Shortcut. It'll create all these shortcuts for each of those bat files. Drag all these shortcuts into the shortcuts folder. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is go online and get some icons. I created um, Google Apps bat files, so I'm going to get some Google Apps icons. I mean, you need to go to deviantart.com or you can go to Google and type this in and just search for Google Apps icons. 
and there's a bunch of different icons for Google Apps, and just download one of them, um, one that you like. Um, I've already got my icons downloaded right here, they're all right here, on my desktop. I'm going to go into that Google folder on my uh, C drive, and I'm going to go into the icons folder. Open that up and drag all your icons into there. And go back into your Google folder and go to shortcuts. And for each of these shortcuts files, just right click on one of them. Go to properties, change icon, and browse to that Google folder on your C drive. Go into the icons folder and choose the icon for the bat file and do that for all your shortcuts. Once you got all the shortcuts with the icons on them, highlight them all and drag them straight into your quick launch toolbar and then you'll have all these Google apps like I do. This has been another tutorial by Dane at Epic Tutorials. Um, thank you for watching and have a nice day.